I'm Adil Dalal, I'm the CEO of Pinnacle Process Solutions. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona at the ASQ Lean Six Sigma Conference. I am the keynote speaker and we'll be taking you through a journey on Keep It Simple, getting back to the basics of lean technology. Very important journey today. We want to review the fundamentals of lean. We want to question, ask some tough questions about the lean technology, see where we are, and also recalibrate our road. What about Martin Luther King, Jr.? Is he a lean thinker? He sure is. He fought for dignity for all and equality for all. What about Mahatma Gandhi? Is he a lean thinker? Yes. He fought with humility, with nonviolence. What about Mandela? He spent 27 years in the prison. And when he was inaugurated as the first black president, guess what he did? He invited his own jailers to the inauguration. If you remember, the last decade we went through the economic tsunami. Do you agree? A lot of lean companies were also wiped out with the tsunami. Why is that? Why are a significant amount of lean initiatives deemed to be to some level of failures? We heard many case studies, even in the military, sustainment is an issue. Why is that? Here is a quote from Vince, call it invincibility, from Vince Lombardi, the person who knew how to win. He said, winning is not a sometime thing, it's an all time thing. You do not win once in a while, you don't do things right once in a while. You do it right every time. So here is the universal truth. Here is the, when you simplify it to the, to the root cause, complexity and chaos are two sides of the same coin. So are simplicity and sophistication. Talk about three fundamental forgotten principles of lean. Lean is about people, not techniques. Lean is a mindset, not a tool set. Lean is a journey, not a destination. I will dive deep into each one of these. There are external pressures too. Would you agree that there is Wall Street shareholders, global competition, uncertainty, economic downturn affecting all of us? Would you agree to that? This looks very complex because it is. That's our cooperation. Look at the level of complexity we have created. What is the result of this? Your profit margins are already small. What is the easy way out? Workforce is shrinking. What happens to the people? This is what happens. Corporate beings under pressure. They have a total loss of control. Hierarchical chart. Who do you think is most susceptible to stress? CEO or the operator? Anyone else? Operator or CEO? How many for CEO? How many for operator? Wow. Okay. Here is what the research says. The CEO has stress level of X. Next one down has 2X. Third level has the stress of these two guys about them. It goes on. What happens when you add the stress to the equation of the previous model is that the employees are truly cannot perform and not only will the customers leave, you also have dissatisfied customers. So you start out, started out to make money, but that's not possible with the current situation. So model of a truly an organization, if we had a blank sheet of paper and we start from fresh, this is what we have seen, the basics of a foundation. There is still the profit. We still want to make profit. We still have people who are stressed. What can we do? Let's develop leaders. Let's develop people. Everything you do 
Toyota says Hitozukuri is the goal, not Monozukuri. Hitozukuri is making people. Monozukuri is making things. Those people, those leaders, will not only satisfy customers, but delight your customers, because they are full of joy. They are at the peak. They are at the pinnacle of performance. Again, there is a very subtle difference between true lean and pseudo lean organizations. If I were to ask you, are you humble? And if you answer yes, <laughs> you're not humble. It's the same way, if you ask an organization, are you lean? They answer yes, they have to go back to the drawing board. A true leader sets up the next person for success. That is the essence of leadership. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste, divinity within me salutes the divinity within you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, Adil, I want to thank you so much. Your power, your words, your contributions. I was very inspired as I was looking around the, word, uh, the room while you were speaking. I saw people just literally hanging on every word and every slide that you were talking about. Inspiration, motivation, the power of people. So that's exactly the type of message that people want to walk away from a conference feeling so they can take that back. And I think just by virtue of the people that came up to you afterwards and some of the comments that I overheard them telling you on how what they felt after hearing that was just an outstanding message. And I really appreciate the power and the impact of what you were able to contribute to this conference. Thank you very much. Thank you.